Greetings friends, I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I'm going to do a shave with this razor that I just recently did an unboxing of. This is the Alpha Spirit Single Edge Razor. Beautiful gift box. These boxes are becoming a little bit complicated. I look at the box and it's folded over on every side and you have to <laughs> decipher how to open the box. Well, what I came up with, if you insert your fingernail right here, Flip upward, hear it? It's a little snap. There's a magnetic closure. You just insert your finger under that little lip right there in the corner and it opens right up. There we go. Here's the box open. You can see the razor and the stand stowed neatly inside. Fitted cushioning, which is really nice, prevents everything from bouncing around. And you can fit a five or a 10 pack of double-edged razor blades in there, but doesn't make sense to me because double-edged razor blades don't work on this razor. You need single-edged blades and the blades that will work on this razor, they've been tested by Alpha, not by me. They say that you can use Feather Artist Club, Kai, Pro Shave, and Schick blades. You can check the details at ShaveNation.com in the item description for further information. It comes with an Alpha warranty card right here and pretty sweet an alpha cleaning cloth right there. It's that nice soft felt material that can help you keep your razor nice and polished and shiny. Let's get back to the razor itself. It does snap down easily and close very securely. So we'll just open that up and you can remove the razor and you may be able to remove the stand, you may not. It might not come out because it's in there fitted pretty tightly. So what I do, I just take the handle, insert it into the stand Take it out that way. You might want to look at the box while it's empty, which would be right there. Just for curiosity's sake, I do want to try this. I just want to make sure that the, the pack will fit. This is a 10 pack of feather blades, which is the same size as the five pack, and it fits super securely. So it does fit. But again, these will not work in this razor. The stand is a inkwell or solo type stand where the razor just fits perfectly right inside of it. And it will stand up on your desktop, sink top, wherever you want to put it. You can put it on your desktop and show it off if you want to. It's a beautiful looking razor. So this is 316L stainless steel, the stand and the razor. It's got the Alpha logo on there. I think this is turned the right way. It's a little hard to tell. It's very small. And it does have a drip hole down at the bottom. So if you happen to put your razor in there and it's wet, the water will drip through rather than accumulate inside the stand. Let's take a look at the razor. It's a beautiful satin finish. You can see single edge. It only accepts that type of the, uh, from the injector type blade. It's tapered and smooth up on top, then knurling, and then a smooth area here that is tapered inward, curved inward. And it's a perfect spot to put your thumb and forefinger and then drop the end of the handle into your palm and shave with it that way. It's a very tactile grip that way, easy to hold on to, very comfortable. If you prefer closer to the top, you can do that as well. I like it right here. I think it feels great, just between the thumb and forefinger. And then more spiral knurling, heading downward, nothing on the bottom of the handle, and you can see it's hollow. Let's unscrew the handle. Thirteen twists to unscrew it and separate top cap from safety bar. Here's a look at the underside of the top cap. No logo or anything in there. Just machining. No logo on this portion. But there is a logo on the underside of the safety bar right there. As I said, this will accept all the different feather blades. What are they? Pro Guard, Light, uh, Professional, Super Professional, Soft Guard. I'm not sure if the Soft Guard will fit, but you can check the details and verify. They all come in the injector like this. I'll be using the Feather Professional. What you do, just take the thumb knob, slide it forward like so. You can see the blade starts coming out. I just remove it completely. You can see it's got slots. We're gonna drop that right over the two pins like so. And then reinstall your safety bar with the logo facing outward. 
just like this. You got to hold the blade in place while you do it so it doesn't fall out, which is pretty easily done. Snap the two together, fit the two together, and then reinstall the handle. Make sure it's tight. The blade reveal, totally perfect. You can see that reveal. It's just perfect all the way across. As far as the blades go, the Professional is one of the more aggressive blades. If you're a beginner, you may want to try the ProGuard blade. It's a little bit milder. I'm going to go with the Professional today. The shaving cream I'll use is Art of Shaving Sandalwood. I'm going to use a pre-shave, sticking with the sandalwood theme, Taylor of Old Bond Street Herbal Pre-Shave Gel. And the brush, Simpsons Chubby 2. You can see that beautiful knot. This is a badger brush. Once you use a brush for a while, it's going to take on the scent of whatever shaving cream or soap you use it with, which is kind of nice. I like that. Let's mix up a lather. Got my skull cup. I'm going to fill it with hot water. Drop the brush right in there. And just let that soak for a bit. This is the Shave Nation tribute to Halloween spider web bowl. You can see all the webbing in there on the outside as well. Let's remove the cap. Squirt a little bit right down into the bowl like so. And remove the brush. Just give it a couple shakes. Pour out the water. Go right in here, see if we can mix a lather. Just swirl that brush and the tips running up against the spider webs will create lather through friction. Just the friction of those bristles rubbing up against the interior webbing does the job. As you can see, this bowl in 30 seconds is just about completely filled with lather. Look at that. It's still a little sudsy, but if you go keep mixing, it will thicken up a bit like this. Plenty of lather for several passes. No problem there. All right, let's set that down. I'll warm up my face. We'll get right to the shave. All right, you can see my face is a little bit red. All right, here we go. Don't forget the pre-shave. Herbal Pre-Shave Gel by Taylor of Old Bond Street. That's what it looks like. It's been leaned over to one side, which is totally normal. Just scoop some of that out in your fingertips, like so. It's kind of a gel, a pasty gel. Massage that into the beard. A little bit more. Gonna splash a little hot water right on top. Dry the fingers because it's really slippery. Rinse and dry the fingers. All right, let's grab our brush with our copious amounts of lather right here. Tons of lather, look at that, crazy. That was really awesome lather. That's a giant ice cream cone right there. Let's see if we can apply it without spilling any. Guess not. <laughs> Man down. I heard him hit the deck. Yeah, he's down there. We'll call for help. So you can paint it, you can dab it, you can swirl it, whatever appeals to you. Just make sure you cover all the areas you intend to shave. Figure eight, smooth everything out, set the brush down. Swipe, swipe, clear the runway so we can see the sideburns. All right, here's a look. The beautiful Alpha Spirit Single Edge Razor. Under the hot water, just let the razor do the work. As I said, see I'm holding it? Thumb and forefinger right there. Cut the sideburn. And you can see the angle is pretty intuitive. Just line that up with the skin. And I'm just letting the razor do the work here. 
not applying pressure, just contact the skin. Just enough to contact the skin. Very nice, look at that. Look how smooth. Just a few swipes. Rinse. You will have to, lots of stubble going down the drain. You will have to rinse more often because you're dealing with a single edge, not a double edge. Just work your way down. So you can make the curve like so, or you can do this, shave that portion, and then pull the skin upward, and then work your way down. Or just go traverse the whole curve, chin line, jaw line, like so. Very nice. Rinse that. It does take a, maybe one second, two seconds longer to rinse, but no biggie. Other side, let's cut that side burn. I like that the blade is wider. It covers more territory per stroke than a double-edged razor blade. Very nice. Rinse. If you're a first-timer, just take your time. There's no rush. left so you can pull the chin up and shave up to that point and then release and shave the bottom or you can just go curve right over just traverse right over that terrain whatever you prefer Rinse. A good stream of water will rinse it quite well. All right, under the nose, the upper lip area, let's hit that. Oh, it gets pretty close under because the thin profile of the head, it gets under there quite easily. Excellent. Rinse it. Other side. Clean up. Excellent. Wow, really nice. All right, let's see. Let me look around. Make sure I got everything. Rinse the razor. Feel around. Rinse the face and feel around. Wow, that's a beautiful one pass shave right there. Check it out. Cheeks, upper lip, chin. Really nice. I'm tempted to stop, but I could do one more. Let's do a little bit more. Still got plenty of lather. We don't want this all to go to waste. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this lather. It's really nice. What a fun lather. Look at that. Doesn't even want to let go. Very nice. Here we go. Just lather up for a second pass. Why not? All this extra shaving cream. Can't let that go to waste. I was going to stop, but let's do one more. Second pass doesn't require as much shaving cream. The bulk of the beard, like 90% of it has already been removed, so be great. Set that down. Swipe. Swipe. Clear the runways one more time. All 
All right, now we'll go across the grain. Again, just very lightly. I'm just gliding over the skin. Rinse. Now you can backhand like this. Or you can switch hands like this, whatever you prefer. Whatever's good for you. Rinse. Yeah, there's a little bit of stubble, so I am getting some more beardage off. Let's go this way against the grain. Clean up. Across the upper lip. Very easy to get into the corner, under the nose. Clean out those hairs. Then lay it flat. Other side. With the corner. Lay it flat. Rinse. Let's take our Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, remove the cap under the cold water. Just glide that over all the areas you shaved. Excellent finish to the shave. It's an astringent. It'll seal off any small nicks or weepers if you got any. Also just feels really good going on. A nice finish to the shave. Let that soak in for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Pat the face dry. And just leave it slightly damp. And we'll go with this Parasso Sandalwood Aftershave Balm. It's the one with the red lettering on the bottle. Remove the cap, a nice thick balm into the fingertips, about, about that much, you don't need too much. Massage that together directly into the skin. Forehead too, ears too, why not? All right, let's take a final look at the razor, the Alpha Spirit 316L stainless steel. Very comfortable to shave with, feels great in the hand. As I said, thumb and forefinger, drop it in the palm, you're good to go. Excellent shave provided, upper lip, chin, cheeks, neck, everything, baby smooth, no nicks, no cuts. I actually felt like I could not nick myself. I was being careful, but it was very comfortable. Not like shaving with an R41 where you think, hmm, like I could nick myself at any second. I didn't get that feeling at all. By the way, I never gave the specs, did I? The specs on this razor. This razor weighs in at 2.2 ounces or 62 grams. The overall length from top to bottom is 4 inches or 102 millimeters. As far as aggressiveness on this razor, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this an 8. With the professional blade that I used, you saw that I was just about able to quit after the first pass. I did go on and complete a second pass, which got me super baby smooth. I'm very happy with this razor. I give this razor high marks for sure. Two thumbs up right there. Two thumbs up and the razor. <laughs> very comfortable, very nimble, very easy to shave because of the low profile. You can get under the nose, just very comfortable all around, traversing all the curves nooks and crannies of the face. It did a great job. Really a nice looking razor. There's that alpha logo underneath right there. If you want to pick one of these up, just click down below the video where it says more or show more. You can grab it right there. 
or go to shavenation.com, enter spirit in the search box, it'll pop right up. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends, over 800 videos, shaving and more. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Oh, by the way, that right there, right there, that's a bat. When a little goblin puts a bat on your wall, you gotta leave it there. There's no taking that off. That might even be there next Halloween. All right, we'll see you next time. I'm out. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.